Hello ladies and and rats, layers, it is October 26th and I am ready to make this daily challenge count unlike everything else that I've done lately. It's been so awful. And then, I mean, then I went into the, the City of Gold speedrun and I went as far as I've ever gone into the game speedrunning. So, you know, it's, it's alright. As in, you know, uh, going to actual uh, hell speedrun type of route. I have completed the... Uh, an achievement-worthy speedrun in the past. It was, I believe, oh, six minutes, which is a terrible, terrible time where speedrun is concerned. But, you know, it is my personal best. Take it or leave it. But uh, the whole going into hell speedrun, uh, that's a thing that I've never done. So I was, I was pretty damn proud of how far I got there. Although, you know, like I, we usually say, speedruns are... I mean, of course, you need the skill to get as far as you need to get. But uh, it, there, there's a ton of restarting involved, and that is why I have never made it a big priority because I don't want to, you know, I don't want to spend my time restarting and restarting and restarting until we get a good seed, and then feel like a, like a complete tool because I wasted that good seed. I would love to find out whether there's a key in that uh, recess over there, but the shape of the room kind of tells me that there is not. The problem is. There's a whole other corner that I cannot even see from where we are standing here. So it is a bit of a problem, this whole thing. Hopefully there will be a rope. I mean, not be a rope, but I, I should be able to make this jump, right? There you go. Hopefully there will be a key back here. Oh man, please don't tell me that it's not in the corner. Ah, that's good. That means it's probably right in that, in that corner over there. Look at all those bombs. Oh yeah. This is looking good. Let's put a bomb right... I don't want to mess this up. I don't want it... I don't want it... Yeah, if I put a bomb right at the corner, it will destroy enough for me to have a nice, beautiful ladder for me to climb back up. I guess staircase for me to climb right back up. Which is a good deal. We also get a no noise bonus in the form of this beautiful damsel that we're going to put through the exit. Jacqueline is going to be ever so thankful since there's, a, there's one billion and a half Bombs down there. I, I have no qualms destroying that spider and uh, grabbing that jar full of jizz therein. Kill this bitch. And there you go. And murder is us. <laughs> ah, shopkeeper has been destroyed. It's great, great news. The shopkeeper is dead now. It just fills me up with the warm, tingly feelings inside. Anyway, uh, 50 seconds. It's a lot, a lot, a lot. <laughs> I don't want to wait for the ghost. It's too much work. Too much hassle. I don't want to do it. I am in a big hurry today. I just I just want to get through, damn it. Not really. I just, I just didn't feel like it was worth it for... Uh, and there were valuable gems. Like, if they had been emeralds, eh, I might have thought about it a little bit more. But uh, since they were a ruby and a sapphire, I was like, whatever. Whatever. Let's just get through. There will be much more, much, much, much more money to be made in the future. I think that scorpion can simply stay there forever and ever till the end of time. Until I bring about death and destruction to all of the world. I was hoping for those ember, I mean those rubies to be uh, liberated, but they didn't. We can help ourselves with this little bit of money right here. And move on to the next area. All right, that has been triggered. But let's murder this guy because we can. And I'm hoping now for a damsel because there is a fantastic Kaliata right there. Might be uh, kind of sort of worth it to also ghost this junk. No vault yet, but there's still uh, the seat's still young. Okay, I think <sighs> I hate to do this. Oh, we can do it. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Let's just do it. Oh, the gems uh, alerted him, but thankfully... Yeah, thankfully... Wow, look at all these gems in the walls. Uh, the bomb dropped at just the right moment. Oh my goodness, you are like the most brain-dead sacrifice ever done. There you go. <laughs> I am sorry, Major Stupid. Did not even get to call your name. You were dead so fast. And now you are in the grand, beautiful kennel in the sky. Kill that disgusting cobra. There's two gems there. There's two gems here. So 20,000, I would say, is very much worth it. It's only a 35-second wait. Not that big of a deal. 
uh, kind of a hard thing to dodge the ghost after we get these taken care of, however. So maybe go up this way once those get ghosted. Yeah, that might be the best way to go about it. And if I mess up, I'll simply use a rope at the end. No big deal. It ain't no big thing, so we're gonna get it done. Two bonds for those two gems. I'm still on the fence whether it's worth it or not, but I'm going to say it's not. Maybe it is. Probably really is. Let's do it. I've been uh, being really concerned about that, that kind of stuff, but I think we're going to start spending bonds to liberate a few of the gems in the, in the level that are kind of like a no-brainer like this one. I think it takes no extra effort to get them ghosted. Maybe we'll start doing that. And, you know, count on getting a ton more gems in the future. Let's get this. I could have sacrificed the shotkeeper, didn't even think about it. Actually, I did think about it, but then I realized I will have to pick up the gems. Ha! So I'm not going to do it. I guess I could have taken the extra work to get the guy sacrificed now, but then I don't want to work around this ghost too much, or I will regret it dearly. I am not a fan of this configuration in the slightest. This is a bad deal for me. It's a real bad deal, so what we're going to do is put a bomb right there. Uh, it really pains me, so, to do this. To have wasted a, a bomb in such a manner. And also to have destroyed poor Major Stupid II in the interim. But really, you know, it was him or me. The question, the, the decision is, is not a decision at all. It's just a foregone conclusion. So, I guess we're going to take care of this man. With two bombs. Not terribly fond of this either. Let's hope that I get the timing right. Because it would be a complete disaster if I don't get this man killed immediately. Like, if I not time those shots correctly. Of course, we're going to need a rope to get back up. Unless we find a, a random jackpack all over the place somewhere. It would be nice to find a jackpack, jackpack in the walls. We have a nest full of spiders, which means this level is going to be a nightmare to be ghosted. But we're going to try and do it. Already one minute here, so we really need to speed up the process. These are a lot easier to kill with the whip. So that's why I dropped my shotgun for a moment there. Not fun of this at all. At all. This is really bad. Don't like it. Jump down here, super spider, so I can murder you. Wow, aren't you? <laughs> Fantastic. Props to that spider for surviving. Incredible. Incredible deal. Oh, come on. This is taking far too long. Alright, you're sure to come down now, right? Come on. Ugh! <laughs> this is very upsetting. This is very upsetting. I think I need to deal with the shopkeeper. Okay, that, that happened. I need to deal with the shopkeeper. Oh, that was almost well-timed. That was also almost well-timed. Third time's a charm. No, he's just freaking trapped, so... Oh, man, how I hate doing this. I hate this so much. I can't believe I used so many bombs to get this done. Freaking jackass. He's had to ruin everything. And now, holy shit, look at all those <laughs> all those crates. I need to go back and quickly make it all the way to the top. Oh my goodness. We get this vault. Oh yeah. And now we have to get into the spider nest and... Oh man. Quickly. Oh yeah, nice. Alright. Get into the spider nest. My goodness, this is so bad. <laughs> not going to be a, a fantastic deal here. Alright, we're, we're not going to prioritize that. We're going to prioritize getting these crates. Oh shit, I didn't even realize that spider was there. Getting these crates. Pretty damn important. Ah, I was kind of hoping for one bundle of rose, but you know, I'm fine. I'm fine with what just happened. I believe I want to make my way in there. But of course, not with the ghost on my back. We want to have this ghost as far as possible. Which means going all the way up to this corner, of course, picking up that a beautiful vault. I want to warn you right now, we are pretty damn likely to die in this level as a result of me trying to ghost the spider nest. But like I always tell you, it is all or nothing. It is all or nothing in this series of the $2 million hunt. Son of a bitch, at least there were two rubies. We're going to trigger all the spiders. Take a little bit of time to destroy them. It's alright. It's alright. It's okay. Are you guys in a hurry? I'm not in a hurry. I'm not going to sweat it, friends. I'm going to sweat it 
even one bit. Mm. Of course, uh, there's a big problem too with the positioning of this entire level. The ghost is really close by. We don't have a whole lot of time to get this done. There's two spiders there. Oh shit, you guys are resilient, to say the least. Do I want to rely on getting a shotgun jump done? I don't think so. Let's just use the rope there. Just stomp on that. Whoop! You get these two ghosted. Shoo! Uh, there's one emerald I'm not going to be able to get easily, so I probably won't even try. But anyway, let's go around this. So this level wasn't too bad, I really don't like having only one rope left. I don't feel like I had much of a choice, I could have relied on doing that shotgun jump correctly, but you know what? I don't trust myself, I really don't. In situations like that, it's just... You're just playing with fire, friend! And it's just a rope, you know, it's no big deal. For now, it could become a huge deal if I, uh... If this seed gives absolutely zero ropes from from here on out. But, you know, we're incredibly likely to get ropes at some point. It is one of the most uh, ubiquitous items that you can possibly find. Possibly the most, even more than bombs. Alright, I wonder if there are a 50% chance to get bombs or ropes, or there's a little bit more weight towards um, two bombs regardless of where which route I go. So let's put it here. There's another Kali Altar, so the Kapala is pretty damn, uh, pretty damn certainty at this point. Unless we, for some reason, don't get a chance to get Matilda. Aha, there's the ropes. Now I need to go back with some ropes. Nice. Durr, I should have made absolutely certain that I could get back up. That was a mistake on my part. But we got a rope bundle, so I'm very happy about it. I did not have to spend my very last rope there. Man, I will have to use two ropes to get back. So the rope situation is still dire. Okay, <laughs> that, that is one way of making an orange frog disappear. Um, yeah, this is kind of rough. Do we actually do find the freak situation in which we don't want to go back for, I guess, free bombs? Spend free bombs to get a Kapala. I would say it's worth it. It's a, it's a a fair price to pay, I believe. Please stop, please stop being foolish. Put that bomb there. Alright, no, uh, no, this is not the thing I want to sacrifice, come with me. <laughs> oh, Lisa, you are ever so ready to be my sacrificial lamb. There you go, nice. Now, let's grab that gun again and just start killing little innocent creatures. <laughs> Um, there's one gem there, there's two here. Don't know if that was the right call to get that bomb over there. But what I should be doing is uh, be absolutely certain this man is naked. Man, that was a miscalculation on my part. I thought I was far enough for him not to get alerted, so that could have been a fatal mistake if that not worked out the way it did. Okay, so we need to... Kind of hurry to get the free gems. I don't think I need the shotgun right now. There you go. Let's get these three gems. Do I have even? Eesh. I need a rope to get the third one. So that's too bad. That emerald is just going to just get grabbed. Because it would have been a pain in the ass to get it ghosted, and I would have had to spend a resource to do it. I only had three ropes left and zero navigational items. So really, not worth the trouble. Not worth the resources. Which is very unfortunate because I wanted money. I need those $5,000 to pay the... Oh, what the... Holy shit, I'm so glad I did not get completely murdered. <laughs> but that Tiki track could have been disaster right there. Just instant death. Holy shit, that drop. I just did not realize I was so far from the ledge I would not catch it. Quite foolish. Foolish indeed. That's good. This is not as trivial as it might look. This freaking frog is really frosting my cookies here. Alright. There you go. Let's 
Do the Tiki Trap, please. That would be very appreciated. Do the nod. You made the problem worse. Okay, well, we're moving on from this level, I guess. Yeah, I want to go in there, though. Do I? We're rough to get out. Nah. Man, this is terrible. This jungle sucks ass! Whoops. Okay, there's two gems here, but do I want to get in there? There's uh, the black market in there. The Blarg Market has been found. And for that, we need... So we'll put the bomb right there. Access to the Blarg Market. There's a bat. Here's Christina that is going to just get, you know, tortured for a little while. It's no big deal. Oops, I went a little too far. Just like what happened with my late wife, man. Damn it, I keep doing this. Where is my shotgun? I think I dropped it right here. Yep. <laughs> uh, this guy's glitched. So that's a good news. Not that it would have mattered because uh, we're not even going in there. I am a bit disappointed with how this jungle turned out. I mean, massively disappointed, honestly. Really, really shitty. Let's do this. Get away from that rock. Okay, so we got this. Still two ge three gems in there. Eh, well, whatever, man. We don't want to do it. We don't want to do it. It's too much hassle. All right, into the black market. Free robes, 25 bombs. It's do looking okay, but really we're depending on at the very least some climbing gloves here. Otherwise, we're kind of boned. There's some climbing gloves. As soon as I have the climbing gloves, I, I feel a lot more confident about the longevity of this run. <clears throat> because you get to the temple, to the ice caves, with nothing. With just two robes. Eh, you're going to have a bad time. You're going to have a bad time. I mean, it's still not impossible, of course, but you're going to start have to give up on a lot of things. So this guy has been a problem. He's been a, a royal jackass, and we're going to just maybe speed up the process a little bit. There you go. Hopefully now he'll resolve to get the fuck out of there. He's in a bad spot, though. Maybe he'll jump on the over to the other side. Yeah, this that's really bad. I'm going to have to use get another explosive. To get rid of this moron. Just waiting for him to go away a little bit. So I have some time to do that. Still not a good placement of that bomb, but hopefully it will be a little better. There you go. Aha, excellent. Oh, that took a far longer than I wanted. Oh yeah. Give me that. <laughs> hey! Alright, so we're made right now. We're totally made. Not completely, like it could still be much better, as in have a whole uh, bomb box store at the very bottom of this. That would be quite fantastic. But you know, Kapala jetpack, shotgun, climbing gloves are not necessary, but climbing gloves are nice. I like them, even with a jetpack. Like I, I often say, oh man, there was even uh, one of these guys. We want to keep them alive now, but it's nearly impossible to do so. In the black market, you really need a really favorable configuration. Oh my goodness, this guy! Really, it's not that difficult to drop into that gap over there. Maybe we can make our way through the other side. These other two assholes. Man, there's this guy trapped in there. This is bad. I really hate this. Hmm. I don't dare. He's going to pick up the shotgun and kill me. There you go. He picked it up. As I expected. What a jackass. You people are a royal pain in my ass. Oh, okay. I was hoping for that to actually land on him, but... But hopefully now he'll go through the gap. He's really, really lucky that he's not going in there. Yeah, hurt. They get hurt there. I'm not going to take the chance. I'm not going to... You know, I'm, I'm, I'm a patient guy. I know the value of the weight. And this ghost is real easy to work around while we wait for these fools to stop being a pain in my anus. Okay. Okay, there's a bunch of bombs down there. That is very good. Not as many as I would love. But definitely much better than what we're doing right now. Really don't like that guy being trapped in there, but he should not be a non-issue the moment that the other asshole on the far right, this disgusting Hitler right here, 
just gets the hell out of my face. Do I surrender? I guess I surrender. Just, uh, get that hole made. It did not work out the way I wanted to. <laughs> wanted to. I wanted that hole to drop down into the Ankh area so they can kill each other. There's now this, this guy. At least he has no gun anymore. There you go. And now through here, I should be able to shoot the other fool. Hopefully. If he makes it in here. Of course, I'm not going to assume that he's not ready to kill me. So we're going to go above. And be absolutely certain that he's dead. And indeed, that is the case. Hopefully that'll work. That did not work. <laughs> That's why you always throw two. Because two have a super high chance of working. Only one has a limited chance of working. And now I have to spend even more bombs to get that done. So maybe I should learn from that. Not try to save bombs and then I ended I end up using way more than I need. Okay, there's another dude back there, so we wanted to dispatch him. Here we have our last problem. So we have a good way to get bombs in there now. Well, let's just open up the area, I suppose. Aha! Excellent! <laughs> hey! There you go. Well, it worked in the end. It was messy. It was not elegant. It was a royal pain in the butt. But we got it done. That's all that matters. We'll be dropping in the way for that ankh momentarily. But first, let's help ourselves to all these bombs. And what might be at the bottom? For now, it's going to be this ghosting opportunity right there. I would like to get those two emeralds as well, so let's get the ghost as low as it will go. Uh, uh, uh. Noise! Noise! What the? <laughs> Freaking emerald did not get ghosted, what the hell? Oh man, that was dumb. Sometimes the, the, the ghost hitbox is kind of iffy, let's say. That is three gems for two bombs. Do it! Uh, 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 uh. Ah. Oh man, is that close enough? Okay, it's good. <laughs> I was a bit concerned that I might have wasted my explosives. But it's okay, don't you worry about me using that explosives because we're encountering... There's no doubt about it, we're encountering a 64 bomb... Is it 60? No, it's 48. It's a 48 bomb shop. In the ice caves. It's going to be completely random. It's going to totally happen. I've seen it before. It's not a completely impossible thing. So, oh, this is not going to work, is it? No, monkey. I don't think this is going to work. I don't know if I can get those gems. <laughs> there goes my second to last rope. I don't think I can get those gems. You know what else is a pain in the ass? Getting that sapphire. Do I dare? I really shouldn't. I really should not. In fact, I don't think I will. All these ghosting opportunities are really not turning out the way I wanted them to. <sighs> How to ghost those two, those gems without spending any more resources? I don't think there is a way. There is a way. There is a way. <laughs> this is so greedy, man. <laughs> oh, man, this is the, the, one of the greediest things I'm going to do. Hopefully it will work out, though. Just gotta be careful about it. Not get myself killed with the teleporter. Damn it, I'm going to do it. Okay. Alright. <laughs> hey, let go of this uh, contraption of death right now. What was that? Oh, the, the hired help. Okay, there you go. Aha! It is a triumph for greed. Triumph for greed. There you go. Not so hard. Not so hard. I was taught by a uh, custom level, by the way, to deal with uh, tiki traps like that. <laughs> so thanks, custom level, like whose name I cannot remember, for teaching me the tiki trap shenanigans that you can pull off 
that I mean not I mean I could have predicted that behavior but I knew for a fact that if I simply went in there I would have died without triggering it first from the other side you see so I definitely have the custom level to thank for not dying right there all right so we're done here it was definitely not worth the wait but we made it Fifty-four thousand dollar and thankfully we did not get a dark level after spending seven minutes in in the previous level. That's good. That's a good deal. I'm going to help myself to a bunch of health. Not that I can need it too much. I mean, seven health is plenty, especially now that we're going to find a royal jelly. Alright, I'm actually perfectly safe right here, unless I drop in front of the ticket trap, and that ticket trap pushes me onto the spikes. So, probably want to be freaking careful. This should work. There you go. <laughs> I have a gun in my hands, but who needs ha guns when I can just stomp my enemy, my enemies to oblivion? So there's a vault here, which means we're going to work at it. Hopefully we can also get those gems up there. At least one of them. I believe we can get both. Uh, throw it here? Yeah. Ah, we didn't get the ruby. This is bad. I just not realized. <laughs> this guy is going to get out of there. So that was uh, unpleasant to the prospect of maybe possibly dying. But he's going to get spiked. There's no question about it. No, he just got trapped into the amber. Which, for my purposes, is exactly the same thing. There you go. Okay, gotta be careful. Lots of dangers here. Let's go deal with the shopkeepers. And hopefully we'll be back in time to get that vault goes to properly. Okay, this man is just dead. There's no way. I mean, not dead, but he's just trapped. So we're going to wait for the man, for this jackass to jump the other way. Start shooting, and now he's dead. Beautiful! Nice, 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 nice. Do I want to even keep this shotgun in my hands right now? I don't need to transport anything, I don't think, so let's do this. Be real careful. Plenty of time to get back. But there was a lot of gems too. Um, that's too bad. Can't really get the emerald if I want to do everything that I want to do. There we go. This is possibly a bad idea. Yeah, because I have no other way to get in there, do I? But it's what I committed to. This is what is going to happen. We want to get the ghost here. Quickly go down. Get the two gems in the middle. And now go up. It might have worked. I have no real way of knowing. Yet. I think I pulled it off. And now the emerald for extra credit. There you go. <laughs> I don't know how that worked out, but I don't know if that worked out. But if it did, I'm going to be mighty proud of myself to have calculated everything. I don't know if... Um, the doubtful thing, of course, is the two gems inside the beehive. But I think we got it. Almost, I would say we have a 77% chance of having ghosted those two, or at least one of those gems inside the beehive. Let's find out. Eh? Money, money. Hey, we got one. That's good enough. I'm satisfied with that. I need it to be lower, a little bit longer. <clears throat> okay, so that guy is just going to forever stay there, locked in his rage. Never getting closure for all the terrible things that are running through his head. That was a really uh, uncommon entrance to a beehive. It was very guarded, very s slow, the way you have to enter and go through the amber right away. It was weird, it was interesting. But there's a shotgun out there, that's why I was not terribly worried about losing the one that I was carrying. Let's just go in through here. There you go. And into the ice caves, yeah! I haven't been this far in a daily challenge for a while, which is pretty sad. But, we made it this far now. That's all that matters. Jeez, all that matters. I've been spending... I've been spending the better part of the last four days just 100% obsessed with making a new ending for Life is Strange. Uh, it's already up in the channel, 
by the time that you see this. It is uploading right as I speak right now. And, uh, you know, I, like I said in the description, don't take it as criticism, take it as a love letter. I really, really enjoyed it. And I am 100% aware of the clunkiness of the dialogue, especially in the holy shit. I mean, if you haven't played it, if you have played it, you'll know what I'm talking about. If you haven't played it, you know what? You really should. I'm not saying it's for everybody, but try to maybe look past the often clunky dialogue. Uh, especially in episode 5, there was so much forced dialogue and a lot of monologues and exposition and uh, direct direct mention of feelings and shit like that. People like people talking in ways that people don't actually talk. But, you know, it, it was something that uh, I told my wife because she loves watching while I play that kind of games. I told my wife... This is how you must feel when you read your your romance novels. She loves those romance novels, and she knows they're awful. She knows the writing is so bad, but she loves it anyway. And that's the way she must feel when when, write, when reading that is the way I was feeling when experiencing Life is Strange in some places. I knew it was awful, the writing and whatever. I loved it anyway, and uh, I will definitely get... Uh, Recommend it to anybody that is into the... I guess it's become the genre now, the Telltale. The Telltale type of game. Uh, I think it does a much better job than te Telltale. Not that Telltale games are bad, by any stretch. Although there's been some. Um, but I think it, it's even better than a Telltale adventure. So definitely, definitely recommend it to the vast majority of gamers out there. Let's get this man through here. Anyway, I was obsessed. The, the whole point of explaining all that was being obsessed with making a new ending. Don't take it as criticism. Uh, just seeing the ending that I would have loved to make if I had been involved in the in the development with, of course, a few caveats uh, due to you know the 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 truth that I don't have a development studio at my disposal, so <laughs> I can only use reuse and uh, make limited assets, art assets uh, or whatever. I would love to have had Polaroid scrolling up with the credits showing the future of the couple and all that stuff. But that was kind of, uh, it's not like it's beyond my capabilities. I could have spent the time to get that art done. There was two more mines here that I did not even realize were here. <clears throat> um, I could have spent the time actually working on the art, but I know that it would have taken me like two more weeks to just get six Polaroids scrolling up in the credits at the end, I felt it's not worth it. I'm just going to leave it like this. Um, if you haven't watched it, you know, you have no idea what the hell I'm talking about. But I don't give a crap. This is ghosted in the freaking ice caves. I talk about whatever the hell I want, damn it. Let's get these two ghosted. Um, but yeah, you know, in the whole process, maybe just, I guess, realize again, I knew this already, but I sort of reaffirmed something that I didn't know about myself, just how much I enjoy making things and getting to the end and seeing what I made and being satisfied with looking at it and looking at what I had in my head and seeing them match. I don't know, uh, there's a lot of frustrated artists out there, especially people that want to get into drawing, but they really feel like they just don't have the talent and they try a little bit and just it just never looks like what they have in their head and they get frustrated and they give up. Uh, I will say just keep trying, just keep practicing, because you. I was there too when I started. I had these beautiful images in my head, I just could never get them out. And uh, now, I'm not saying I'm the greatest artist of all time, but I know, I know for a fact that if I spend enough time at it, I'm not fast at it in the slightest, but if I spend enough time at it, I know I can get the image out of my head and onto the paper or onto the screen or whatever and be satisfied and, and say, holy shit, this actually matches what I was thinking about. I am so proud of what I just made. Uh, so if you are ever in defense of, man, I want to do this, but I know I'm never going to get it as done as, as nice as I want it to be done, maybe you should, you know, get off your ass and try, and try harder, and then try a little bit harder, and maybe practice a little bit more, because that's the misconception. You don't think that it's not going to take you a long time. It's going to take you forever. It's going to take you possibly years to get to the level that you want to get. But, you know, that is just the price of realizing your dreams. The alternative is to just stagnate in mediocrity. So, just 
do it! As uh, Shia LeBouf will say, or how you even pronounce that name, I don't care. Uh, <laughs> there's an altar over there, but there is really no need to be sacrificing a, sacrificing a damn thing. I'm going to sacrifice a few things anyway, just to get ourselves closer to invigoration, because that is good. I think I could have sacrificed the damsel. I don't even know if there was any. Do not even keep track of such things. I know I whipped somebody in the face. I, I had the vague recollection of having whipped somebody in the face. Hmm. But I could not tell you for sure, and that is kind of a sad, sad, sad thing to admit. Uh, I could sacrifice some more. I do want the shotgun, however, the, wherever the hell I left it. What the hell did I do? <clears throat> Here's a situation, by the way, there it is, where the climbing gloves, I feel, saved my ass. Because I was able to hang on to that wall instead of running out of fuel <laughs> and dying a horrible death. Or at least taking a point of damage down there. So I'm always thankful when I pick up the climbing gloves, even after I have already have the jetpack. I will not hesitate to pick them up. Uh, all you know that it takes, you know, is a little bit of extra planning, and extra care, not to get trapped with the climbing gloves. And I have succumbed to it many, many times. Don't say, don't think that I haven't. Don't think that I'm immune to the follies of the climbing gloves. But I say, I definitely feel that the trade-off is worth it. To have the ability to replenish your jetpack at any point, not just on a flat surface. Oh yeah, like I said, I mean, it's not the shop that I was talking about, but hey, it is actually almost like the shop I was talking about. So I told you, I told you, totally happens. It's a bomb shop in the ice caves. We're going to help ourselves to it. And what is in the present box? A boomerang. Not terribly interested in that, I'll be honest with you. I don't feel like it's a, a worthy acquisition. I'm going to pass. The shopkeepers have killed themselves at some point. We want to rescue Donovan, our bestest friend in the world. We like him. We like his face. We like his problems. There you go. We might give him a blowjob one of these days. All right. Well, that doesn't work out. Let's um, get some emeralds and some gems ready for ghosting. Pa-pow! Perhaps there is a bomb inside of this chest that will allow me to get that sapphire. It was not the case, but it was a worthy, uh, a worthy try. If you are a tryhard like myself with the whole, uh, the whole daily challenge score thing, it's always good to know that there might be a bomb inside that chest. Don't put the chest right next to other gems. Put it next to the uh, to other gems, as in, uh, if uh, if a bomb comes out. Don't let it blow your gems out of the way, and then all of your gems are gone down the freaking abyss. That would be a bad outcome. You would not want that. So, there's my tip from me to you. Careful with those freaking chests. Don't be greedy about it. Don't be brainless about it. Think, damn it. Think about it. Think before you act, you dumbass. Let's get all these junk ghosts that I believe that's all that there is to be made here. Too bad. I can't be all that efficient about it. I'm going to have to go around quite a few times. Maybe just twice. Yeah, maybe just twice. Let's see. Get this one. Then bottom top. Shouldn't be too bad, actually. Let's get this one right here. Um, bottom and top. Top and bottom. From the top to the bottom. Bottom to top. A stop. At the core, I've forgotten in the middle of my thoughts. Taking far from my safety, the picture's there. The memory won't escape me, why should I care? There's a place so dark you can't see the ends. Sky's cocked like a shock that which can't defend. The rain then sends dripping. I see the questions forcefully, the power suggestion. Then with your eyes shut, looking through the rust and rotten dust. Small thought of light floats the floor. I'm forced of the dust of the rusted world to pretend. And the ice is hoping and it's dark again. From the top to the bottom, but the top of stop at the core I forgot in the middle of my thoughts. Taking far from my safety, the picture's there. The memory won't escape me, but why should I care? In the memory you'll find me. Eyes burning up. The darkness holding me tightly Until the sun rises up Do you think I can't go on? I can go on! Moving all around, screwing... <laughs> How was it? Holy shit! I know I knew it! I knew it! This total recall moment Moving all around, screaming of the ups and downs, pollution manifesting in perpetual sound. The wheels go round and the sun's increase behind street lines, chain linking concrete. A little piece of paper with a picture drawn flows on down the street till the wind is gone and the memory now is like the picture was then. When the paper's crumpled up, it can be perfect again. From the top to the bottom, by the top, stop at the core. I've forgotten in the middle of my thoughts, thinking about from my stamp, the picture's there. The picture is there. 
The memory won't escape me, but why should I care? Oh man, teenage years, Linkin Park, you know the story. <laughs> I'm honestly massively, massively surprised I have not forgotten that. That was like a total recall moment. The words came out of my face before they even formed my thoughts. If you catch my drift. Quite weird. Quite weird. What else can I remember, man? Do I want to start reciting lyrics today? <laughs> nah, let's just leave that for another time. But I'm pretty damn sure I could totally recite in the end. And a uh, little else, honestly. I don't think I memorized any others. Anyway, <laughs> let's just move on from that. Well, you enjoy that small recital there and uh, embarrassing little moment of me trying to sing. And we can kill ourselves. I think that we are done. There you go. Pulling out of that ghost, she did not try very hard to catch me, honestly. Let's get that. Do you want me to start uh, singing Jonathan Colden songs? I have like five of them memorized or more. <laughs> I mean, I, I can say, I can honestly say. And I have, I have a shameful pride, a hipster pride about it, that I was a fan of Jonathan Colton before Portal took off. I uh, I really, really enjoyed some of his songs before that happened, before the whole Portal super, super blow up. He was already, you know, kind of famous before Portal, but holy crap did that do uh, wonders for his career and for her, for his bottom line, I'm sure to get that Portal song out and uh, get the geek fandom super stoked about it. Let's get rid of that man. Oh man, I totally forgot that. We want to pick up a shotgun now. Whatever. I just did not even think about it. I was too obsessed with the silly things that I keep talking about. What are these pots? Because they could be something fantastic in there. I think it's uh, definitely worth it to be ghosting here because I saw at least one or two. Let's get some more blood, please. Mm -mm -mm. Talking about it now, all that is running through my head is Jonathan Colton songs. <laughs> oh man. No, I must resist. I must resist the temptation to stop, to break off an awful singing. I know, I'm well aware. 100% aware. Now, while not the absolute worst in the universe, I mean, I've heard. Have you guys uh, heard uh, American Idol auditions? I'm not, I'm not that level of bad. But I know I'm bad, I have no talent in the singing department, so I don't want to subject yourself to it. I know my limitations, where, where, where that is concerned. I don't think that will work, I need to put it in the corner. There you go. Yeah. Like, I can carry a tune in my head, I can hum it okay. I know my voice is just not, not built for it, it's this, you know, a regrettable thing, a regrettable thing. I wish it weren't so, because I do love singing. I like, I genuinely enjoy myself, you know, the typical thing, the shower and all that, and just when I'm on myself, but I know, because I've recorded and heard it, and, and listened to it, that my singing voice is no good, so, yeah, no, not going to subject you to it too much unless I get too desperate with my uh, Ice Caves ghosting. I want to get rid of this freaking Yeti, but honestly, the ghost is coming pretty damn soon, so I'm not going to care too much about it. I guess I can use this corpse to get rid of the yetis over there. Do 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 do! Ghost is here! This shouldn't be too bad. I think they are mostly all in a line. We have 62 bombs, so this is a fantastic run. I wouldn't say it's going to be a $2 million run. I can already tell you that much. Unless we get massively lucky in the... You know, we, we get an incredible amount of money in the levels that are coming up. Very unlikely we'll get the $2 million. But we'll be pretty close. I mean, if this were to be taken to the Yama conclusion, we'll be incredibly close to the 2 million. I would estimate right now, as it stands, if the trend continues, we can get up to 1.8 million right now. Not going to be terribly close, but not going to be too far. And of course, if we had managed to keep one of the hired hands alive, in the black market, I don't know how I could have possibly done that because they were dead before I even knew they were there. So pretty damn difficult to get it done. But if we had gotten it, gotten it done and we get the to the warm, I mean not the warm, but to the 
Oh my goodness, what's it called? The Mothership! We get to the Mothership, we get him through with the Plasma Cannon and all that good stuff. We could have gone the Plasma Cannon into the City of Gold and that would have been fantastic. As it stands, however, I hope I didn't leave any diamonds, I did not double check like I usually do. But as it stands, however, 1.8 would be the kind of natural conclusion of this uh, daily challenge. I think I've done enough to be kind of certain about that. I would say within the 100,000, I would say. Uh, it would be really nice to put these pods all together in one safe spot, such as this one. And we'll use a mine to blow them all, all up at once. Because, like, we're tryhards, something that I tell you many times. But, you know, this might be the first the first daily challenge you watch of me, so I'm going to tell you again. Pots, they have double the chance of dropping a gem if you blow them up. They have... it's like you break them twice if you blow them up. So, you know, you have an extra chance of getting extra money. Let's get some life from Major Stupid the Third. Oh, well, however many dogs we've encountered. This is a very good shopkeeper. Very, very good shopkeeper. We want... We want to possibly use Major Stupid to get his gun. Difficult, though. That mine makes it a little difficult. Ah, the bounce was not good enough. But there's the Yetis. It's alright. And now Major Stupid made it to the exit, so that's an added benefit. Ah, oh, he punched me. Damn it. I took the shotgun! I should have shot immediately. Instead, I wanted to escape. That was my mistake! Oh, man. At least we made it. 3-4. 500 dollar. 500,000. Pretty damn good. Uh, but uh, congratulations to Kimmy Jump to get that kind of money in 2-1. You must be a real tryhard, friend. You must be really, really good at getting that money. Don't really know how you do it. Uh, this is the daily average. We are... Man... 30 cent, we had gone down quite a bit. Too bad, too bad. But uh, we did all right. This feels really wrong to have died in such an anticlimactic manner. <laughs> I don't feel good about it. It is uh, delayed because I'm uploading right now, so we can't really uh, see the names. I actually, it's loading up the names, it's fine. Please tell me the, the top score. How much could I have made? 1.8, <laughs> vindication. That's too bad though, that's too bad. We didn't get as far as I really wanted to. But hey, it was a fun time. I, I enjoyed myself a great deal. So that's all that matters, isn't it? I'll see you in the next one. Until then, I bid you farewell.